Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH back for another game video and today I'm going to take a look at a game that caught me by surprise. It actually has been out for a while <clears throat> on the Xbox 360 on Xbox Live Arcade and it came to PC <clears throat> to Steam not all that long ago and uh, the game I'm talking about today is Dust an Elysium tale. I don't know if I'm saying that Elysium part right, but we're going to go with that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The, I guess the best way to describe this game so far is kind of a really cool Metroidvania, I guess, kind of action-y game uh, mixed with some... I would say a little bit of Devil May Cry-esque combat. It's all in 2D, but it's just, you know, you build up combos and you can, <clears throat> you know, the better you do, uh, it counts up your combo meter and everything. But uh, I really like this because I've, I've kind of been in the mood for something different, getting away from the shooters for a little while. I've played a couple and I just haven't really gotten into them. I <clears throat> picked this up on the Steam Summer Sale. I think it was for pretty cheap and just decided to try it out earlier and am really quite liking it so far. Let's get right into it here. We're just going to go to start game and I am just what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new game just so you can kind of get an idea of <clears throat> what the game is actually like. Uh, the interesting thing, the one thing that I think could turn some people off is the sort of cute, cartoony look to it. Um, I actually really kind of like it. I like, like I've been saying in other videos, I'm really kind of getting tired of the whole brown and gray thing. So it's really nice to see some of, you know, some really nice, colorful looking games. And... All right, and we'll do normal, sure. <clears throat> what other ones do we have? Casual, tough, huh, hardcore, yeah, eh, let's do normal. Our world has fallen to fade, its great works long since complete, its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. Elysium, okay. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The now, th stood no chance. This is cool. The soldier showed no I love this look right here, just the whole shadow but kind of thing. Despite his victories, his skills, oh. his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier no. would perish on this day. Cool, you can control that. But to a single child. Dust. Dust. Arise. All right, then. <clears throat> A talking sword. What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. <laughs> so this is yeah this is the other thing that i think could turn some people off um it it's kind of has this weird mix between anime style and furries yeah um furries anyway 
I guess we'll just choose. Now, the text on this version is a little small, um, but the font is clean, uh, and the backgrounds, they give you a pretty nice background, uh, so it's not too bad to see. Let's just go with the first one here. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh, Call yourself Fidget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me. And you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Alrighty, so there's our little brief intro. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I think, you know, some people are probably, you know, are going to have a little bit of problem with the kind of weird, you know, furry anime kind of look to it. But, yeah, some of the writing is a little bit cheesy. But actually, you know, I mean, so aside from some of the you know, little goofiness, I really like the art style. The graphics are really well done. I'm actually glad, you know, this being even a smaller game, that this is fully voiced it seems every character in the game has full speech that I've run into so far uh, and I do like that especially from a visually impaired perspective you know it's just uh, makes things a lot nicer and it doesn't hurt that the voice acting I mean yeah fidget is a little whatever but uh, <laughs> you know eh, the voice acting is not bad trust me I've heard far far worse and what actually makes this game even more impressive, if I remember correctly, um, this game, it took forever to come out because I think it was actually made by one guy. And I think he had help with like the music or the sound or something like that. And then like, you know, obviously the people doing the recordings, but, you know, for the voices. But uh, we'll continue this way. I have an idea of how far I'm going to play in here for this video, so we'll just keep moving here. You know, and again, I like, I really like the Castlevania games. You know, I played the heck out of the GBA ones, even some of the DS ones. The console 3D ones, eh, not so much. But, you know, even then, um, you know, after God knows how many of those that are out there now, you know, since Symphony, Symphony of the Night on the original PlayStation, um, <clears throat> the Castlevanias have, you know, they're all different and have different twists to them, but they're kind of, you know, getting similar to this point. So 
it's refreshing to see kind of an open-ended kind of exploration style game like this with a really different style to it you know i'm not just fighting okay we're gonna fight the dracula we're gonna fight you know the skulls and the medusa heads and the you know all this kind of things that you really get to expect so um yeah we're just gonna continue here bust this down i'm so used to having some of these other attacks that i don't have anymore at this point in the game so this game kind of borrows a lot from other titles like i said we've got the castlevania metroid style we've got the you know fidget kind of it reminds me of something like um you know a little familiar in castlevania or Na navi in the zelda games in ocarina of time what is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Good for me. Oh, I can't go down there right now. Nothing down there? Because some of those you can actually go down. So, I'm not sure why it's not letting me, but we'll keep going then. There we are. Okay. Oh, now do we now we can go down. Okay, I remember here. It'll pick up here soon enough. Don't worry. And so the combat is actually pretty cool too. But I kind of have this like OCD sort of thing of like I've got even though I know I'm supposed to go to the right, I have to I have to keep looking right, for stuff. We found a chest. Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. <laughs> These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. I can, you know, despite being kind of a little cheesy, I kind of get a kick out of Fidget because she just she's kind of the smartass character. So here we got a little mini game. Basically, it's just like a quick Simon says you hit the once I hit this first button, it's going they're going to go together and I have to hit these uh, button combinations before it latches again and then we can get whatever's in here. So let's give it a go here. B X A. There we go. Sweetness. <clears throat> that wasn't so tough. Um, and I do like that they do, I should mention, like I said, I'm playing with the 360 controller for the Steam version. Considering that it was out on, th on 360, you know, the buttons map perfectly, not a problem. And I do like in that mini game, you know, that the buttons actually match where they are on the controller. So even if you can't really read them that well, it's like, okay, up, left, down, right. You kind of know where those buttons are by now, especially if you've used a 360 controller. All right, we'll keep on going. Again, really like the look. The, the graphic style is just... I'm not sure how to describe it, but it looks really cool. Furry thing is a little weird, but... <laughs> okay. Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Dust. Dumb. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. <laughs> and there's a little bit of, you know, meta, like, they'll tell you, oh, hit this button to do this, you know, so it's not just, like, attack and do whatever. Um, you know, they actually tell you. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <laughs> <sighs> and to think. This morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. 
Yeah, we probably will. So, you know, the the character who's doing Dust, it's really kind of funny because I he sounds a little bit different, but I can kind of picture him as like this solid snake kind of wannabe. It's like I can just hear him saying, Metal Gear. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, not too bad of voice acting here. Um, the one thing that I would say is not just this game, but one of these gaming tropes that I think we really need a break on is I'm going to save it under three so that I don't accidentally do something stupid and overwrite my first game. Uh, but I, one of the gaming tropes and just movies, games, whatever, the amnesia thing is like how many more times can we hear, you know, start a story with, I don't know who I am, where am I, who am I? I mean, I know what makes it convenient for, like, you know, starting from scratch and building all your powers and whatever it is, but it's just kind of gets a little old. So now we're going to get more into the combat itself. Uh, you notice I have a left and right dash right almost right away, which is actually really helpful. Especially thinking of coming off of uh, Rogue Legacy and having to earn that ability. I'm like, yeah, I'm really glad I have that. I don't have my other a couple attacks yet that I want. But we'll just keep cruising forward here. And you notice up in the upper right-hand corner... Oh, no, we don't have those yet. Okay. We're just still learning our... Uh... Ow! So we don't have our combo meter yet. Kill it! Kill it again! Okay. So, you know, despite the really cute kind of look to it, you know, really kind of cartoony, animated kind of look to it. You know, I've played a, a bit further into this, um, probably an hour, a couple hours in, and this game is actually surprisingly deep, so don't let the, you know, the cute exterior fool you. Uh, it is, it is actually a really deep game. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. This, I like this attack. Really handy. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, you'll perform an attack so spectacularly <laughs> awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. So dumb. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Yep. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain. Which will yield bonus experience after each battle. Yep. However, if you are struck by Here an we enemy, go. the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. Now we'll get our combo all meter. Right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Mm. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Uh, you know, I mean, I appreciate it that they're, you know, that they tell you exactly kind of what the buttons are, but I can't, I'm not quite sure if I like the, you know, 
if they would just say it like in context, it's like, well, if you use this attack, or, you know, if you do this, like, within the story of the game, rather than just telling you the buttons, it is nice. I, I can't make up my mind, really. Um, but... I'm trying to think of another game that does it, um... I guess Shenmue, like, the original Shenmue, like, in the game, they wouldn't say, press the attack button, they would, you know, they'd be like, take one step backward, and then, and then attack with your arms and legs, and that would kind of tell you that, okay, I'm gonna punch and kick at the same time, um, you know, whereas, hit the X button, or the pause button, um, it's not a big deal, but, let's see, three, okay. He said, I'm just making sure I don't save over my other one. So now we get our combo. I mean, we're going to fight a lot more dudes. So yeah, we can use Fidget. There we go. And so now we're going to get a lot more, like, Devil May Cry-esque kind of stuff. Neither yet. Weird. I guess I wasn't paying attention up there. All right. And it does really help to learn, you know, not just to button mash, but to really learn, like, the timing for different attacks. Because, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, that one, I can actually juggle people up in the air and then further my combo that way. So let's try that. Come on. What we got down here? Ow. Okay. If I remember, yep. Okay, we got that. We're good there. I really like the soundtrack, too. Just, like, the graphics, the soundtrack, uh, the music is just really, really fitting and quite well done. Just really impressed overall with this game in general. There we go. Come on, give me higher combos. Not bad. Hey, you just leveled up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Great <laughs> even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. There we go. So... Uh, I kind of avoided going into a lot of the inventory and interface and stuff like that until now because I knew this was coming. So, you know, it's not just a straight-up action game. Um, you know, there are definitely some RPG elements. You've got things that you can equip. So you've got, like, your armor, your web... Oh, uh, well, your armor. You've got rings. You've got um, items, quick-use items. And then you can level up. So... I can upgrade any of these, and I think I'm always a fan of health myself. So let's see. Yep, here we go. Yada yada. So the text here can be definitely a little bit small for some, I think. Um, not too cluttered of an interface, but some of the text might be a little bit small for some people to see. I don't have too much of a problem with it, um, especially once you kind of learn where things are in the interface, but here is your equip screen. So we got our um, quick use item. Uh, that's where we've got these fruits that'll regenerate my health, or that'll give me back some health. 
Uh, if I go in there, I can choose any of these other items that I've picked up so far. So whenever I hit the L, uh, the left trigger, or left uh, bumper, I should say, I'll use that item. Uh, nothing there. Okay, yeah, I'm not really going to have anything for armor yet. So, actually, let's go back in there again. So here we got our little map. Everything has been pretty straight so far. Uh, even to where I've been playing um, in my other game, it's been pretty straightforward. There's been a few branching paths here and there, but nothing too bad. And one thing that I do like is once I get to the actual village that we're trying to reach, I do like that you don't have to traverse the whole world again. Uh, because once you leave a, one of these major areas like the forest or the village or whatever it happens to be, it pops out, it zooms out to more of like a world map. So then I can quick travel to the entrance to one of these places, which I'm, I'm guessing later on especially I'm going to find especially convenient. And here we got our quests. We're not really doing much right now. We're really just trying to get to that city or figure out what the heck is going on. And here we got our crafting items. So probably we're not going to get there during this video, but basically in addition to you know, all of your armor and things like that, you can go to blacksmiths once you have a blueprint and some of these crafting items and you can have them craft items for you which could be armor could be rings it could be any number of different things so i'm really just starting to get into that myself and actually i think uh okay and then just general stats here so that is your interface it's pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, some of the fonts are a little bit small, but yeah, especially once you get things figured out, you probably don't have to pop in here too terribly often. But um, yeah, really not bad. So let's continue our journey to the village. Because I'll probably end it shortly thereafter once we get into our first village. And that way you'll get to see some character interaction. You've already seen some of it already. Um, you get to see some nice combat. And even a little bit of a boss battle. So, give you a good idea at least what the basic gameplay is like. Okay, perish. There we go. Ah, come on. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. Not too bad a combo. Catchy, just really catchy exploration wow. music here. Maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging my sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Now, I think... I'm gonna go back this way because I can't remember, but I think I may have forgotten a place I can drop down and get a chest. There's that OCD again. Maybe not, but I... At the very least, I get more experience anyway, so it's not a complete loss. Mm. 
use a health item there real quick. Uh, God, maybe I didn't. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I was right. Let's kill these dudes here real quick. Pop down here. There we go. Chest. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. B, X, X, Y. Not too bad. That was pretty easy still. I'm sure they're going to get a lot longer and a lot harder and faster. So enjoy it while you can. All right. Yep. More dudes here. So far, even in the other game that I've been playing, even though I've, I've beaten a couple different bosses and stuff so far, and uh, I haven't died yet, so it's not super hard yet so far, but I can see where it probably could become, um, especially if the combat styles and stuff branch out a little bit more, and who knows what kind of crazy boss stuff they're going to come up with, so it could very well get much harder. Almost died a couple of times. There's a bunch of these like explosive things later on that you gotta really watch what you do in there. Or you will blow up and die. So we'll keep her going here. Now we'll go on for real. Just wanted to get that chest real quick. Ah no. Let's go up there. Is there anything up here? Enemies. There we go. Experience. As it were. Pop down here, another save point. Perfect. Uh, is there anything over to the left? No. Alright, continuing on. See if we can keep that combo going. Oh. Okay. Did I miss anything back up here? Ah, yes indeed I did. So gameplay wise, I haven't really had any problem visually playing this. So far it's... everything has stood out well enough. Um, you know, some of the backgrounds, maybe depending on the environment, could get a little bit harder to see, but no, so far it's been not a problem at all playing this, so... Really haven't had any trouble figuring out where to go, except for overlooking one little item, which I'll show you here shortly, once we get further down here. Um, I did kind of overlook one little item for a little bit and kind of got stuck on something stupid, but... Okay, get... Alright, level up again. Sweetness. Uh, let's see. How is a boot? I boost my attack. There we go. Moving right along. So yeah, I'm definitely going to end up... Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing this more. Uh, I, like I said, I've only gotten a couple hours in so far, but I really do think that this is one that I'll probably... Unless it gets really, really crazy hard or something stupid, um, probably going to play this one all the way through, because... Uh, Really liking the audio, the gameplay, the graphics, just a really nice package and all the more impressive that it was done by like basically one guy. That's pretty darn impressive actually, if you ask me. Really cool animation just for the attacking and stuff too. Kill it! Yeah. Okay.
Oh. Get over there. Ow. Getting closer to the village, and I don't think I've missed any alternate pathways so far yet. If I did, I won't go back and get them this time. Uh, I think I got the major one that I was trying to think of earlier. Really nice weather effects, too. Just, yeah, I really am digging the look of this game. And I can't remember, but I think... I'm not sure if you get this, like, if you can get the digital or the deluxe edition or, like, a soundtrack via Steam as well. Um, I was going to look before I started recording that and I forgot to, but it, I really kind of hope that maybe that you can because, uh, really cool soundtrack so far. Alright, see what's in that chest, sweetness. Now here we got our first real obstacle. Can't do anything, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay. Well, here is where we. Well, okay. Let's do this first. Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. I wasn't frightened. Just surprised. At the, uh, savings. Come on, let's... Talk. So dumb. Oh, man. All right, let's talk to the merchant here. I've been here. expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with... Reminds me of the Resident Evil 4 guy. Shall we conduct business? What are you boying? All right, so here we got our shop interface, and it kind of works just like our other ones do. We can use our left and right bumpers to move across the top here between our different categories. I have 937 gold. I believe, actually, hmm, before I buy any armor, let me see if I got dropped anything. an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here. As I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, he'll buy them at a high price. I... <laughs> well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Oh, fidget. I don't know, man. What are we going to do with you? Okay, so let's... I want to look at my ar my armor real quick to see if I've picked... Ah, here we go. Yeah. So, I was going to actually buy that, but I actually have it already, so I'm going to equip that. And nothing there... About all right, so I can buy some rings. Hmm. Okay, so basically, I can buy everything except the actual armor. So let's talk to the ah, shopkeeper again. again my friend. I suspect it yada yada. Okay, so. Hmm. That looks pretty good to me. And...
Crapola. Don't have much money left. Uh, all right. Buy that. Your transaction is most appreciated. And you can hit the X button and you can switch to the selling interface too, so I can sell some stuff. I haven't picked up a whole lot, so I really don't want to mess with that a whole lot right now, but... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Pick that. Can't do anything there, but I can put my ring on. All right, now we are ready to roll. So here is where here is where I what I knew it had something to do with this, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, if I go up, I've got another one of those explosive or these weird looking barrier things. <laughs> kind of a cool sound effect. So, I'm like, okay, how do you get past them? Trick is, what you gotta do, first minor puzzle in the game, as long as I do this, they'll follow me. So I... I'm going to go to this one over here first, because it's further away. Kabooey. Oh wait, where did it go? Oh, there it goes. Sweet. There we go. Get our little secret item back there. And now I'll use the... I'll go grab another one and... Head over, because now we're going to probably be getting to, if I remember correctly, our first little boss encounter here. Come up here, dude. Blow it up. What the hell? Did it not? Oh, man. Come over here. There, finally. I don't know why you wouldn't blow it up before. Okay, so... Why does this save work? That's odd. Can I go back there and make it work? Huh. Okay, that's different. Alrighty, let's keep on moving here. Get some combos going. Oh, jeez, that hurt. Combat is actually pretty fun. Um, I've started getting into some other enemies where you have to defend a little bit more. We're going to learn a parry attack here shortly. Um, you know, but it's not going to just be simple button mashing. They do, they do add add a little bit more to it here. So, oh man, do I want to go that way or do I want to go down first? I believe I might want to go down because I think there's a chest down there. Kill this group of dudes here and then let's go check down there because if I remember correctly I believe there is a chest I require. Okay, head down here. Oh no, we got one of those. Shoot. We gotta figure out how to get that one. Uh, I don't think I've done that in the other game yet, either. Hmm. Eh. Alright, well, let's just keep going, then. Nice. Alright, 
keep on going here. How much health do I have? Okay, good. We're good for now. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. So Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Aw, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Alright, so there's our kind of first hint at our little Metroidvania-esque gameplay there. I've seen a couple more of those uh, as I've been playing so far. I've seen a few more of those things, so... Have to remember where they are. Ah, yes. The yeah, these things I can parry. And the way you parry is you actually hold the attack button down right when an enemy is going to attack. And they probably will explain that here shortly. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things! Their persistence will give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Can do. Dead. All right. Okay, I think we're gonna come up to an NPC. Yep, right here. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't <laughs> worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet, but uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hello! You surprised me there. Some of these character oh, designs are so weird. They're so weird. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes. Please hurry. Be careful. Please, you've got to hurry. Alrighty, I will hurry. Alright, I think we get a... I don't remember if we get a save. Yep, save point. Alright. Yes. Slot three. Perfect. And welcome to our first boss coming up here. Oh, those are weird looking. All right, big giant dude. Look at the size of that thing. Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Can do. All right, see there you go. Parried it. I blocked it. Ow. Here you. Aha! Stun it. There we go. And now you're dead. That wasn't yeah. so tough. Of course it isn't. Ah. Get. Holy crap. 
All right, that still wasn't actually very hard. Very hard. Is that it? Did we get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! Who are you calling weak? Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we can actually uh, we'll talk to him again to We're see what they say. Shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. Oh, I can't get over the weird furry thing. My leg still it's hurts. so weird. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in, but you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. He <laughs> was running to get help. Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. <laughs> what, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh, no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. Bah! Oh, by yourself. Where's my shovel? Don't worry about it, dear. When you feel better, we should get to safety. I'll feel better when I've got my shovel. Should I be on the lookout for some lost shovel? Oh, no, dear. He broke it running away from those monsters. I'll get him a new shovel when his leg is better. All right, so enough of that nonsense. Let's uh, keep going here. And here we go. We are at the city, or the village, and nearing the end of this video. So, I'll probably walk around and talk to a couple of people in the village just to let you see a little bit of that. But, otherwise, yeah, that is Dust and, oh man, how do you say it? Dust and Elysi Elysium Tail. Uh, it's available on Xbox 360. PC via Steam, and I don't know about PS3, but I don't think so. So let's keep moving here. Talk to a couple more people. Hold it right there. Are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend, Calum, here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in. They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Cora. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits <laughs> in the mountains! 
I'm not making that up at all. No, of course not. Inspectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Thanks so much for your help. Please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see everything. It's really real. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. <laughs> Prospectors, fidgets. That was the best thing you could come up with. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well, but something, something here is making me uneasy, like the calm before a storm. Okay, so now we're gonna basically, uh, I think we're gonna wrap up the video here, but you know, we just got, we just can walk left and right through this village. Like I said, everything is still 2D. Um, here's where we're gonna start branching out and we're actually gonna get some side quests a lot of villages villagers in here are going to be giving us different side quests for different areas uh that are coming up and i think there's one back from where we came but uh yeah so this is dust and elysium tale it's a really nice combination of action adventure kind of uh, like i said metroidvania style game but with some really kind of nice RPG elements, I really like the graphic style, the sound, the music, uh, like I said, the gameplay and the combo system is good. I'm curious to see where all that goes and what new abilities I'm going to get down the line. Um, <clears throat> just a really nice mix of everything. So that will wrap it up for this one. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.